Hello walkers and welcome back to City Walks. Again, another city. A little bit of a change after so many nature walks in Montana and Utah and one recently in Wyoming. Uh, we are, well my name is Henry. I'm going to be your proxy walker today, your virtual travel guide on this treadmill travel walk uh, on our relaxing travel channel. Uh, and that's all the keywords I think I can stuff in that one. We are, surprise, surprise, in Rapid City, South Dakota. You can see sort of the hills that we're painting around. We're going to walk downtown. It is early Sunday morning, so there's not going to be a lot of people around. I get all, a lot of comments uh, from American cities. Where is everybody? Well, most people um, drive around, as you can see. Not a lot of walking, uh, even in downtowns. So tend to people people tend to stay inside. It seems like, depending on what city, there's some variation. Uh, if you haven't liked, subscribed yet, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Uh, it does help us out. Um, like the video if you like it. Uh, tell your friends, of course, and give us comments. I love getting comments uh, from you guys. Uh, I love interacting with you. It's one of the unsuspected joys of running this channel. Love hearing what I missed uh, and any corrections of what I got wrong. Suggestions, um, comments, how you're doing. Uh, are these helpful to you? And if so, in what way? All that kind of fun stuff. <clears throat> um, it, it's a little uh, quirky here. The, uh, phone app says it's 42 degrees, but I think it must be measuring somewhere else because it car said 32 and so that's I think zero degrees Celsius versus five or six degrees Celsius, three degrees Celsius. Can't really remember. Um, oh, a little bit about the channel. We do sort of explorations here. I do a little research ahead of time, but uh, not a lot. Um, usually go to a Wikipedia page and that allows us to share our little discoveries, our wonder as we walk around these places. Right now we're walking east on Main Street. <coughs> uh, and I'll try to call out the street names. I haven't been doing a great job of that lately. <coughs> but this is the IRS building here on the right. So I guess Sometimes I get some comments about, oh, you should know better. You should have done this or that. That's fine. Um, you're probably right. But uh, I kind of like just wandering around and discovering things in some, some ways. Um, <clears throat> okay, so this is Main Street, Rapid City. This is also known as a city of presidents because, uh, as you'll see, they've along Main Street and then the street to the south which I'm blanking on the name of, they've got all these statues of the presidents of the United States. Uh, and so we'll be seeing those along the way. I'll point them out as, I, as they come up. <clears throat> um, I decided to walk east because it's early and I want to point the camera this way before, um, before the sun rises and I'm pointing into the sunrise. Uh, this is 9th Street that we're crossing. We just saw Abraham Lincoln, looks like Teddy Roosevelt across the street. And then this is Franklin Pierce, one of our lesser known, lesser distinguished presidents. Uh, and I don't know who that is over there. I'll call him out, but I'm not gonna call everyone out, maybe. Uh, Rapid City, there's a Rush, Mount Rushmore Society across the way. Uh, and this is Murphy's Pub, Irish Grill. We'll see a big, a neat big hotel when we make our turnaround up here. <clears throat> uh, and so across the way is Teddy's. Uh, look at that, I love, it's a great downtown here. I'm re I really love it. And I, <clears throat> we're on a road trip, so I have to kind of get out early and then hit the road. Uh, but Rapid City is the gateway, the city of presence, because the walk, but also gateway to um, the Black Hills, and <clears throat> that is by design. There's the Rushmore Hotel, uh, the Black Hills also home to Mount Rushmore. 
uh, but also to Deadwood and to a discovery of gold by the Custer expedition in the 1870s. And when some of the prospectors didn't strike it rich down there, they decided to come up here <clears throat> and become land speculators. And I think it's 1876 or 1878. Uh, they laid out a mile grid, set aside six blocks downtown in the center for uh, commercial activities and, uh, and focused on supplying the miners <clears throat> and becoming a commercial hub for the region. And they, they did that. Uh, it's named for Rapid Creek, which is off to our left which is the creek that runs through downtown and which flooded and caused a hundred million dollars of damage in 1972 and killed 238 people. Uh, currently, the population is about 70, 75,000, I think. And that's of the city. Not sure about the region. It is the second largest county and the county seat of Pennington. I am really impressing myself with how much I've remembered uh, from this Wikipedia article. <clears throat> uh, this is William Taft. Yeah, William Taft. I'd say they underrepresented his girth. He weighed 300 pounds, and he was the uh, hand-picked successor of Theodore Roosevelt, who's also famous around here <clears throat> um, because he had a ranch in the Dakotas. Uh, pardon me. <coughs> I'm on the tail end of a cold here. Um, but he ended up being, I, Roosevelt had a great name for him, a big disappointment, but he was like a flop gob or something like that. Uh, and didn't really accomplish much that <coughs> Roosevelt had hoped, which led to Roosevelt running against him after the first term. Um, uh, for, <laughs> as a progressive, which was nicknamed the Bull Moose Party because of Roosevelt was running, um, basically split the Republican vote and led to Wilson winning. That little tidbit came from a book we're listening to called River of Doubt as we make our way east on our road trip here. I love, I was thinking earlier as we get downtown here, uh, and that we, I see these decorated trees. It reminded me a little bit of Budapest. And a lot of the building are probably not that far apart in terms of construction, but those buildings are so curved and, you know, obviously big because it was such a bigger city. Um, but there's the distinctions. And I spoke this, about this in Gillette a little bit about how architecture is a kind of a window into culture, the spaces we choose to live in. That one looks like it could be over in Budapest. Uh, this is going to be Johnson. I recognize that profile. And you've got a lot of... Uh, this is a really cool downtown, and especially for a city of 77,000, which, I mean, most of you will recognize it really isn't that big. Uh, obviously, these presidents are not in order. Uh, who is this fella? James Monroe, author of the Monroe Doctrine. Um, anyway, I love the lights. I love all the little, the old buildings, the brick faces, and uh, a lot of shops, a lot of restaurants and bars. There's, uh, and there's some murals here that I'll try to point out as we go along. I'm going to pop out from time to time to give you a better view of the buildings, but also it's not quite quiet enough to walk down the middle of the street like I do sometimes in smaller towns. <clears throat> yeah, you got a gallery here, you got an Italiano, Italian ristorante, there's that Sabatino's, and across the way you have the Firehouse Wine Cellars, and there's a couple of, uh, an old, oh, Firehouse Brewing Company, an old firehouse? Yes, please. Uh, with some murals of, uh, Firefighters, which is cool. Let me go back out here a little bit. Some outdoor seating too, which is kind of cool. Love the 
I don't know what the little minaret, what style that is, but I gotta believe it's late 1800s, early 1900s. And in the detail work on the facades here, and in a little bit of a mix, like that's not, that's much later, that stonework, I think. I could be wrong, but I love that they're maintaining this. It's got a, they've done a great job of, uh, well, let me rephrase. It's a really well-kempt city. It's very cool. Uh, a little, a couple other interesting things that I learned as I, um, as I, Dakota Drum Company, um, as I did my research, limited though it may be. Uh, in night, so this is, this area <coughs> is home to the Lakota Sioux, various Lakota tribes. There's three different dialects. It's a very cool post. Uh, Mitakuye Oyasan, we are related. Um, then you've got the Main Street Square. We'll pop over there, I think. Uh, in 1980, the Sioux people, or the Sioux tribe, I don't know the various divisions, but they sued the United States for unilaterally violating a treaty. And the Supreme Court <coughs> ruled that basically the Black Hills, of which Rapid City is part, um, was illegally taken without compensation from the Sioux people and um, ordered them to settle. Um, I'm, I'm probably getting the, the details wrong. Love a place with a uh, skating rink. Some cool stonework here. Here's one of our presidents, John Adams, second, I believe. Um, here comes the sun. Look at these cool buildings. And we'll come back around and see that hotel in a minute. Um, <clears throat> anywho, the Sioux people didn't settle. They didn't accept the agreement um, on the grounds. This is all based on the Wikipedia article that I'll try to link to. Um, that it would justify the illegal taking of land from people. Uh, or legitimate it. Oh, look at that mural. I love a good mural. <clears throat> and so, I think the original settlement offered was, I'm gonna get this wrong, but $100 million. Uh, the article said that it was, uh, it, it has been accruing interest ever since. It's now worth about anywhere between 1.15 and 1.5 billion, which is a lot of money. Uh, However, there are, uh, I think, over 100,000 Sioux people still. Um, and so, and I don't, you know, I don't know the exact numbers. I don't know what, if it's tribal membership or uh, all, those, all the details of that, but just rough numbers. That comes out to, I think, um, like 150,000, no. Fifteen thousand, maybe fifteen thousand per person. So <clears throat> my math has got to be off on that. I originally I had it at one hundred fifty thousand. Anyway, that's a lot of money, but it's not compared to the actual value of the land. And of course, I love that I love that they have a couple of silos, grain silos, still in the middle of downtown. Um, <clears throat> I believe this is going to be Ronald Reagan. As we cross, well, this is Main Street and. Fifth Street, but we're not going to cross Fifth Street. Um, oh, that is Calvin Coolidge. I saw the saddle and the cowboy boots, and I just made an assumption. <coughs> um, anyway, and then so recently, they uh, a few years ago, the Supreme Court also found in favor of I think it's I should know this, and I feel bad that I don't, but the Cherokee people in Oklahoma and ruled that their land was taken illegally and that they have tribal uh, rights. I'm not sure exactly the ruling, but to a huge chunk of Oklahoma. Now, oh, I do love a good 
alley, but I'm not going to walk down that one just yet. <clears throat> um, anyway, you know, there's so much time has passed, so much development has passed, that it's that's a kind of a cool sign, South Dakota Stock Growers Association. It's hard to imagine <coughs> that these tribes will ever be handed over uh, carte blanche the land <coughs> and everything on it. Uh, some government buildings down here as we get over to St. Joseph Street. We're going to have the sun at our back now, which is going to be good. Um, this is Eisenhower. And I think I'm going to there you go. Um, but at the same time, you hate... I, I, I don't think that's an excuse not to do anything, personally. This is my little pontification for the day. You know, you don't want to just say, uh, nothing can be done. So it'll be... It's a complex issue that'll have to be ironed out over time through many a court case, I'm sure. Anywho. Uh, so we're on the edge of kind of the old town here. <clears throat> and my plan is to walk back up this way. Uh, we're at 18 minutes. Um, 16? I can't read the numbers. Uh, <clears throat> and then maybe pop over into one of the, into a residential area, which is probably an older, nicer, higher end neighborhood. Some kind of cool old houses. Um, love all this brickwork. And then. I, you know, you see this sort of 80s, 70s style ribbed stone right next to this uh, 19th century construction. And you kind of wonder, well, <clears throat> will that 70s look ever seem classic? You know, mid-century modern is making a comeback, so maybe... This is the Hotel Alex Johnson. And I think it's part of a, it's either Hilton or International Hotel Group. Uh, I looked at staying there, but I didn't want to come all the way down from the highway. <coughs> See some people checking out. Here's Ronnie, Ronald Reagan. We were surprised to walk up to a uh, Statue of him in Budapest. Budapest. Morning. <clears throat> Here we go. Here's George Washington. Gosh, talk about an amazing leader. Uh, obviously, no saint, but the ability to prevail against the largest empire of the time is pretty impressive and to step aside when power was offered uh, that's really impressive whoops sniffles and snorts. I'll tr I try to minimize them. Here's the building with the onion dome and minarets. <clears throat> I don't think it's a uh, cultural thing. I think it's a, an affectation from or a fin de siècle affectation. How does that sound for Kind of pretentiousness. Sounds good. The Brass Rail Lounge. Cool sign. These buildings look really well taken care of, <clears throat> even if some of them are pawn shops and downtown uh, sort of. You know, I think, uh, well, I'm not going to go there. I like this downtown area. I would definitely come hang out here. 
especially if I was on a road trip visiting. There's Bill Clinton across the way. <clears throat> and uh, Jefferson. I think Jefferson was actually second. I think some Adams. But anyway, it's a cool dealio there. All right. This is <clears throat> 7th Street. I have to go forward and look back to see the signs because these are one way streets. Looks like Truman maybe over there. And then this little fellow is going to be Madison. He was uh, one of the writers of the Federalist Papers. I can't probably have that wrong. Oh well. Look at this US bank over here sticking out like a sore thumb. <clears throat> But it's got that cool tower in the background, which is speaking of mid-century modern. Pop out here. I love walking in mornings. That's one of the reasons I started the channel, was when we went to Europe, I, uh, a, uh, thought, oh, I, I like to go, uh, I had these wonderful memories of being in Europe and walking in the mornings in like Paris and a couple other places um, after I, I'd worked for a year and saved up money and gone over for about seven months uh, after school <coughs> and I thought, well, I'd like to keep doing that as we, our family travels and I might as well film it. I'd like to thank our Patreon supporters. I meant to do that at the beginning. There'll be a little sign on the video at least. It's always appreciated. <clears throat> this is going to be 6th and St. Joseph Street. Also, I 90 Business Loop. Oh, I said that other guy was Truman. And this is Truman. The Dewey defeats Truman headline that he held up. He was after... Uh, Delano Franklin as well. <clears throat> hmm. We've got to push a button here, I guess. Well, I will. Oh, awesome. <clears throat> you can see we're kind of sitting in this valley, and I think I mentioned the temperatures earlier. It's definitely not 42. Uh, who is this? Tyler. Um, and I think the, it's because the cold sits down in this valley and, uh, and just kind of collects. Um, now we're getting a reflection of that thing. Um, so, it, <clears throat> back to Rapid City is the gateway to the Black Hills. And there's a lot of cool stuff to do in the Black Hills. Um, also, I don't know if you can see it, but between the two buildings, the white and the brown one, there's a dinosaur <laughs> statue up on the hill. Massive ones from the dinosaur park. One of the things to do here. Uh, looks. I didn't realize, I don't know much about it, but it looks like they have a giant sculpture, maybe more. Probably awesome for little kids. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, oh, uh, so there's a ton of stuff to do, not just in Rapid City, but in, you know, Deadwood, Mount Rushmore. Uh, there's Custer State Park. There's um, Sturgis is not far away. Devil's Tower isn't that far away. <clears throat> Excuse me, Jewel Cave, Wind Cave. Uh, and just a ton of public land down there. A lot of cool stuff to do in this area. <clears throat> Pardon me. And I think it gets pretty busy in the summer. Of course, Sturgis is in August. I did a walk there yesterday, so check that out if you haven't. And here's the IRS building again. So what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna do, is uh, 
walk up here to, I think it's fifth or fourth. Um, and uh, there's this fellow. Uh, well, there's no way to tell. Looks like, I'm gonna guess Jackson, because of the cannon. But, um, <clears throat> uh, and I'm gonna make a left up into the residential area. Oh, this guy, Harding. Nice dog. And we'll see some kind of uh, older buildings, older homes. You can see that, maybe you see that dinosaur up on the hill, up on the ridge there. I saw the signs earlier and I thought about going up there to check it out, but I kind of got to get back to the hotel, pick up my son and hit the road. Uh, we got a long drive today and we're going to hit a state high point, so Hawkeye Point later. And I'll take pictures, put them on the Instagram, but um, I'm not going to film that probably. Anywho. Uh, anyway, and then I see this uh, sculpture up there. You can tell I'm, uh, I'm easily distracted. I love these hills though, and I, I spoke about this in a couple of earlier walks. The ponderosa pine forests are sort of, they don't have a lot of understory to them, at least the ones I've been seeing. And I just love that kind of park-like, open, treed area. Uh, I think there's something appealing to that, about that to, the, to my atavistic brain. <clears throat> I think this is a, at the Halley Park where we started, which is right over there. Uh, I'm gonna cross over, sorry. Uh, this is the, it's the Parks Department headquarters. A neat old building. I don't know its significance, historical significance, if any, but almost looks like a national park building. Maybe it was built by the Conservation Corps. sure exactly why I crossed over except the light was available okay I saw uh, this kind of median I've seen it a couple places Denver and I say Colorado Springs maybe <clears throat> maybe somewhere else uh, where they have these massive uh, spaces between the road and the sidewalk thank you um, and this is sort of two one-way roads. There's a park in the little, in the center that's about as wide as this strip. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, I kind of wonder what the, what the purpose of that is. Was there, was that used to be road for wagons? Did it used to be trolley lines? If you guys know, or if anybody knows, please put it in the comment section below. I'll try to remember to pin it. <clears throat> I was going to say maybe it was, it's reserved, but there's a parking space here as the sun finally makes its way up. Um, and I forgot to look at the ro <laughs> road, the road signs. Okay, well, this is West Boulevard and we're crossing Kansas City. My apologies for not being more on that. And I'm gonna try and keep the sun out of the lens as much as I can, but uh, the grid pattern of the city is gonna necessitate a little bit of backlighting. And I don't mean to complain. I, I've talked about in Livingston, the grid is not on a north-south grid and it throws me off completely uh, in terms of people talk about east and west and it's not east or west it's <laughs> it's uh it's 
northeast, southwest, and vice versa. There's a little squirrel up in the corner of that yellow building. Pretty buildings. Looking like it's going to be a pretty day. <clears throat> We're going to go to Mitchell, South Dakota tomorrow. I mean, sorry, later. Do a walk there. A special little place. I'm going to, I'm going to do a little bit of prep for that. But um, it's going to be, I suspect, not busy at all, given it's a Sunday. We're going to pass up Waldrug. If you've driven out west, you have seen uh, Visit Waldrug. It's like Visit Rock City back east. They are for hundreds and hundreds of miles. And it is 100% a uh, t-shirt, burnt sugar, fried food smelling, uh, curio selling uh, place to stop. Uh, it's interesting as a cultural perspective, but we've done it once and I don't need to do it again. It's exactly what you would expect, only more so. Uh, again, I forgot to, but we're coming up on 11th. And I'll read the other street name here in a minute. <clears throat> Quincy Street, I guess maybe we're getting into president names, but I love, I saw this house over here from the other direction, and I just, I love these old, I don't know what style it is, not quite craftsman, not quite Victorian, looks like it may be not quite level either, um, really pretty, I love those porches wrap around covered porch very cool saw a mask on the ground and I'm, I'm all for people wearing masks I wear mine even though I'm triple vaxxed um, but they do escape us our pockets sometimes and they're sort of like these and they've become the kind of the 20, the cigarette butts of the 21st century. Oh, look at these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a left up here. We're walking along 11th, I believe. Beautiful light this morning. I do believe the temperature just rose. The temperature just rose about two degrees. That's interesting. <clears throat> could be from the sun warming the air. Could be. I don't know. Can you? Would I sense a thermocline? I think they're called thermoclines, like that. These old buildings over here. Pardon the audio for a second, I gotta make an adjustment to get rid of that tapping. I was thinking another thought earlier in that, uh, you know, for just having a simple walk, 
there's a lot of complexity to these uh, videos. <clears throat> just just doing the filming, so you've got the keeping the camera steady, making sure things are in focus, making sure things get exposed properly. You're looking at the audio. Uh, I've had a variety of solutions and issues with that. Um, and trying to film stuff of interest. It's really pretty complicated. And then some people, and I was, I was hoping to do this for a while, but then I sort of put it on hold because I switched cameras and capabilities changed. Look at this red squirrel down here. Um, hey there, buddy. How you doing? Hey. Look at you. I got nothing for you, and I don't want to get bitten. Um, anyway, it's a, uh, it's it's, for me, it's a fun series of problems to solve. Columbus Street, and we're at Columbus and West. So West goes off to the left. Columbus goes off to the, to the straight. We're gonna make a left on the sidewalk and go down West Street again. I think I did call that out. Anyway, one of the reasons I haven't put these animated maps on here is I don't want to drop a hundred dollars on software if I uh, if it's not really gonna help and I've been doing so many nature walks that I'm not sure it would help but maybe I'll start trying to record separate GPS to do that. That might be a fun project. Let me know in the comments if you like the 60 frames a second. Um, seems to be doing all right. I might switch back to 24 for some, some of my videos soon. <clears throat> it's a lot, of, lot less data at 24 frames a second. I think 60 is 150% more. That can't be right. It's still at 100 megabytes a second data rate. <clears throat> oh, that's another thing to figure out. Um, so maybe it's you get more data per frame at the slower speeds. It's all good. Look at the light on those hills. Love the rolling hills out here. I'm not sure. I think it'd be fun to live in Rapid City. It seems like a cool downtown, cool city. But I sure do love living in Montana, so it's, it would be hard to give that up. Uh, right, am I going down one more block? I think I'm going down one more block. I'm going to try and read to you the street name. Quincy again. This uh, Western version of a uh, Georgian neo-colonial. I'm not sure. I love the picket fence, though. <clears throat> I think I didn't want to come down another block. We're gonna go, we can always go back up. Yeah, we'll cut across here. It's an alley, public space. So that brown building, it looks uh, almost brutalist, um, is the Rapid City Schools. Maybe also the Y. Well, I assume a YMCA, but it could be YWCA. And over there is the Y too, that other brick building. Well, I guess the schools one isn't brick. 
and of course Wells Fargo Bank. I kind of like the way these, uh, the city is sort of surrounded by these hills. The highway is to the north, and uh, it's up sort of on a ridge well, and to the north, and it drops down even more. I don't know what drainage that is, but you go down to these rolling hills and flat areas. And I think <clears throat> we'll go through some Badlands. I think Badlands National Park's around here somewhere. back up on Quincy. Yeah, Quincy. And we're on night. We are going to go make a left on Quincy as soon as we cross and get into some shadow. Night. A little trash there. Beetle, no, Keetle, Thornston, Thorstenson. That green and brown building. We're gonna make it certified public accounts, I think. <clears throat> oh, I should have stayed up south. Well, we'll, we'll pop up there in a minute. There on the left is the Foundry, a Lutheran church. <clears throat> I believe that this is also the, the second largest city in the state, but it's also the county seat of Pennington County. This is Mount Rushmore Road. Sort of a major thoroughfare that goes up the hill there. And let's go up to Columbus. I saw all these uh, older buildings up here. I thought maybe it was an interesting neighborhood. I think it might just be a former interesting neighborhood. Black Hills bagels up here on the right, and then Einstein bagels off to the left. <coughs> Excuse me. Wait.
pardon me. See the hotel Alex Johnson is standing out down there. Can only imagine what a sensation that must have been when it was first built. My, my kid locked himself out of the hotel room, so I'm texting with him to help him solve that issue. He's pretty self-sufficient, so it's all settled. <clears throat> So my plan is to go up here, show you the big high school, and then drop back down into downtown. the seventh that we're crossing. Here's the high school. Uh, we're still walking on Columbus. I wonder, kind of have to wonder if there's like a stadium or a flag field behind it. <clears throat> I, when I looked on Google Maps, I assumed that this building was old. But now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if it's been redone or if it's just a modern building with older style. I know they rebuilt one <clears throat> in the 70s, 78, I think, um, which would make sense. But it looks like a uh, large school, which is kind of cool. Usually you see them really spread out. Nope, we've got some Sunday church bells going. Drop down on sixth. <clears throat> yeah, I can. I can definitely see hanging out in Rapid City. It's a uh, it's a beautiful area. Lots of access to the outdoors. <clears throat> cool downtown. Lots of great shops, restaurants, bars that I mentioned before. Um, it seems like there's a fair amount going on here. And uh, you know, if you like hunting, you got massive amounts of open land uh, in terms of like farmland not too far away. Uh, if you like fishing, I think there's some fishing in South Dakota, like trout fishing. I'd have to, ch I'd have to fact check that one. Um, <clears throat> surely there is. Uh, I feel like if the British have been somewhere, uh, even as tourists, <laughs> there's trout. 
Uh, there's trout on top of Mount, not on top, but in the tarns of Mount Kenya in Africa. And that's not a dig, that's a, an observation. You know, I, we have to, I, I'm not going there. <laughs> interesting to me that here it's Weiss Associates but the building the style of brick where it's curved on the corners it's always uh, it must be such a challenge <clears throat> as a builder to execute those curves I mean there it's just masonry you make the corner bricks curve but when they have the turrets and uh, domes and that sort of thing or the octagons Hexagon sticking out of the corners. It's very impressive to me. Coming up on Kansas City Street. <clears throat> kind of wonder what the naming uh, paradigm was. So I didn't go on the far side of Maine. <clears throat> Given the amount of time we have, um, I'm not going to do that today, but there are some railroad tracks and then along Rapid Creek, they had a flash flood I mentioned in 1972, I think. It killed a bunch of people, just tore out a bunch of buildings. And so they just made that park, that floodplain, into parkland with trails and all sorts of stuff. So it goes <clears throat> quite a ways with lots of bike trails and pedestrian trails. Uh, there's also railroads down there. And then as you go closer to the highway, it gets more commercial, um, at least along the road I was on. And there's some more modern stuff, like uh, there's a hospital over there and a few other things. No, so, but I wanna, we're gonna end up here at the Hotel Alex Johnson. There's a Starbucks down there. I'm gonna grab a coffee. Um, thank you for joining us here. City Hall, 1903. See, these are the things you discover. I don't think it's currently City Hall, but uh, they just kind of pop up sometimes. That's part of the, the fun. And who knew they had uh, the grain silos in the middle of downtown? Um, <clears throat> anyway, thanks for joining us. I hope you will join us again. I hope you'll leave me a comment with your thoughts, uh, your suggestions, your corrections, and your additional information. I've been getting a bunch of those lately. I really like that because I like to learn about these places. I don't always have time to do that properly. Uh, you know, this is not a paid position, really. Uh, and so I do the best I can with the time I have. And I appreciate y'all's support. It's like, tell your friends about how awesome your workouts are when you're watching a treadmill travel video from City Walks. Uh, I think next is gonna be Mitchell. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you again soon. Until then, keep on stepping.